Top of the morning, top of the morning. First and foremost, all praise to the Most High. First and foremost, all praise to the Most High. Without the Most High, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Without the Most High, y'all wouldn't be able to watch them, man. I was, um, you know, just thinking. This is my like, like, you know how they have, like, the last days? This is, like, the last, this is, like, my last few videos on YouTube. But um, I just want to tap in with the youth. When it comes in a black community, a lot of people set the bar high for you. So for example, you have to be 21 years old driving a Lamborghini. You got to be 21 years old with 10 houses. You got to be 18 years old with a Maybach. You gotta be 16 years old with um, a Porsche. These are all stereotypes that they put onto you, so-called black men and boys. So the advice I wanna give you guys, this is that. Take your time, fellas, especially to my young black men, right? Take your time on everything you do. You understand? They use the terminology um, Time wait for nobody. That's true. They also say, um, you don't know if tomorrow problem. These are a lot of things that it makes sense and it's true, but tomorrow is not promised. I get that. We none of us know the day we're gonna die. But when you do positive things, you shall live long. When you got a pure heart, you shall live long. Let's get that clear. Um, another thing I want to talk about far as that or I add on to what I'm explaining to you people about you know just they put you on a certain pedestal just being a, a black man you're supposed to have a million dollars by the age of 50 and 40 and when you're 30 you're supposed to have a BMW and a, these are a lot of stereotypes and a lot of um brands that they put on us right so the advice I could give you guys and especially you young men Take your time with whatever you do and with what you do. So if you get a BMW at the age of 50, that's smart. If you never get a BMW, <clears throat> that's smart too. Um, if you never had a Mercedes, that's smart. Because cars depreciate, meaning is that when you buy a vehicle and it's worth, you buy it off the lot for 20 grand, when you drive off the lot, it might be 13 grand. You buy a car off the lot for 100 grand, when you drive it off the lot, it's 80 grand. So, a lot of times in the black community, hold on for a second. A lot of times in the black community, we're glorified for things that depreciate. You understand? When you got a nice car, oh, that car is nice. Ah, 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 that's down the third. But a lot of y'all don't realize that a lot of times y'all see people downtown in Manhattan with nice Bentleys. Those are cars under their business name. So they get a discount once you're a business owner. And they, they you was able to write it off then, but all that's under their business. So while you spending top dollar for vehicles, when you're a business owner, you get a certain percentage off of the, the price of the vehicle or you get a certain tax break. Also with um, electronics and Apple and, and so on and so forth. One of my, I was talking to one of my my guys or whatever, and we was, a lab, we was just chopping it up. And he said that he have a small business. He got an LLC. And he said that when he had bought an Apple Watch, I think the Apple Watch was like a dollar. And he had a disc, wound up getting a discount on, I think a $1,400 phone, maybe it was probably like 400 something similar to that. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know you get big tax breaks when you have a business. So, 
I'm not telling you people out there to stop everything you're doing and go get business. No, that's straight stupid. You could get a job. You could, you could get a job and get a little business on the side, but still keep your job because that's a stability. Um, so I just want to tell a lot of you brothers this, that don't let people put their expectations on you. Don't let them do that. Just because you 40, just because you 50 and you don't have a Bentley as a young man, there ain't nothing wrong with you. Just because you 30 and you don't have five Benzes, ain't nothing wrong with you. Let them people don't like you. Let them people push you to the side. Let them do all that. You take your time, man. Put God first and everything else will fall into place. This is for my younger brothers, man. Especially my brothers that's on this this um. That's on my channel. Don't let these people try to break you down and defile you from the great person you really are. This is for my brothers. Just because you don't got five Bentleys and you don't got, that don't mean nothing. Just because you don't got a, a $50,000, a 50 square foot house, that don't mean nothing. Just because you don't got 50 chains and rings, that don't mean anything. Stop letting society tell you who to be and be yourself. If you don't want to, if you want to get a little chain, get a little chain. If you want to buy a Honda, get a Honda. Companies pay these brands billions and billions of dollars to make you the customer. You can make your own clothes. Start wearing your own stuff. You ain't got to buy big, expensive chains. Jewelry, gold is an investment, though. But get what you like. You could get something small, a ring, a watch, a bracelet, earrings. I'm not never telling you not to treat yourself, but don't let society have you guard your way when you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars on jewelry and clothes and this down the third, and you probably don't even wear the clothes the after next year or next year. All right, fellas, so this is for my young boys. Stop letting society tell you how much money you need to have, how much cars you need to have, and how many houses you need to have. It's not wrong with having nice things, but get it because you want it. All right, this is for my young brothers, man. I'm happy for all of you as long as you're trying. I don't care if you're working at McDonald's. As long as you're doing the right thing, you're not stealing and robbing, salute to you. All right? Keep being great, man. A million salutes, man. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a boy. Open your eyes as a man. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a silver head, man. I love you guys, man. Keep being amazing. Keep being great. A million salutes.